Walk with Jesus in Holy Week of 2020. To walk for this walk, we just need to use our imagination. We're not moving, we'll be standing in the same place, and I assume most of you will be too. But if you have the opportunity to walk, please do so. Whatever you do, use your imagination, walk, meditate on the icons, and enter Jesus' walk of that week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ in whom is our salvation, our life, and resurrection. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. Assist us, O Lord God, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those acts by which you have given us life in its fullness. Amen. Our first stop on the walk is the Last Supper. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at the table and the apostles with him. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on, I will not drink the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of Eucharist given by Jesus at his last meal with his followers. Thank you for feeding us with these holy gifts that nourish our daily journey with you. May we who share the bread and wine Recall your faithfulness and grow in your love. Amen. After dinner, we go to the Garden of Gethsemane. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, 
I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. After going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went for a second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the words, the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hand of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Loving God, we watch your son to Jesus as he prays in agony in the garden. Support us in our watch with you. Make us your channels of comfort and strength in the midst of a suffering world. Keep us ever awake to your abiding presence in our daily living. Amen. Amen. The arrest of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. After Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to a place where there was a garden, where he and his disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, because Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas brought a detachment of soldiers, together with police from the chief priests and the Pharisees, and they came with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to happen to him, came forward and asked them, For whom are you looking? They answered, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus replied, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they stepped back and fell to the ground. Again he asked them, For whom are you looking? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you are looking for me, let these men go. This was to fulfill the word, word that he had spoken. I did not lose a single one of those whom you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it, struck the high priest's slave, and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword back into its sheath. Am I not to drink the cup that the Father has given me? God of love, we have betrayed others, and we have been betrayed. Forgive our acts of betrayal. Help us to forgive those who hurt us and to rebuild trust when it has been broken. Strengthen our walk with your Son, Jesus, 
in the path of obedience and humility. Amen. Amen. Peter's denial. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Holy God, God holy and mighty, mighty, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, he sat with the guards in order to see how this would end. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with this Jesus, the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you're talking about. When he went out to the porch, another serving girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again he denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. After a while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly, you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath, I do not know the man. At that moment the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said, Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Gracious God, remind us, as you reminded Peter with the cock's crow, when we move from your ways. By your embrace, hold us to the path of faith. Deliver us from the powers of darkness, to the light of your love in Jesus Christ, our compassionate brother and Savior. Amen. Amen. The trial of Jesus. We adore you, O oh Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. us. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Jesus Barabbas, or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? For he realized it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his word, wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal, because of a dream about him. 
Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Gracious God, the tongues that joyously sang, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, today cry out, Crucify him. Remind us constantly that your gifts are given to become signs of life for all. Empower us to use your gifts for life-giving purposes as we walk with Jesus to the cross. Inspire us to see this instrument of death transformed into a symbol of full life. Amen. Okay. Mocking Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put on a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. Loving Jesus, you have been betrayed by one friend, denied by another, and now you are mocked, spat upon, and struck. Forgive us for our times. We have dishonored and offended you. Equip us to speak and live as models of your goodness, and hold us at the center of your serenity in this troubled world. Amen. Jesus is led away to be crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. As they led him away, they seized the man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Two others also who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. Jesus. 
gentle Jesus, while walking the tortuous path to your death, you received help from a stranger. You heard the cries of women who accompanied you on the way. Help us to reach out to the stranger and to those who suffer in our world. Bless us with love as we walk the way of the cross with you. Amen. Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, today, you will be with me in paradise. Jesus, we see your body stretched on the hard wood of the cross. We meet you there as you give up your life. Open our eyes and hearts to see the light of your compassion in the midst of darkness. May we walking in the way of the cross, find that it is for us the way of life. Amen. Jesus dies. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At once one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened 
and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tomb and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now, when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly, this man was God's son. We watch with you during these final moments as life slips from each limb. With a final cry, you breathe your last. It is finished. We quietly rejoice to be with you and to know that the love that surpasses all understanding. Amen. Amen. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. When evening had come, and since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate wondered if he were already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he had been dead for some time. When he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. Then he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. Lord Jesus, now the road has led to the grave where you are lovingly laid. May we faithfully walk the road that lies ahead for each of us. Open our eyes and our hearts to recognize you and meet you in all our pilgrim brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Savior of the world, by your cross and passion, you have redeemed us. Save, Save us and help us, us. We, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have, have mercy, mercy upon us. We thank you, loving God, that you have delivered us from the control of sin and the death and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. We pray that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joy. Send your abundant blessing, Lord, upon your people who have devoutly recalled the death of your Son in the sure and certain hope of his resurrection. Grant us pardon, bring us comfort. May our faith grow stronger and our eternal salvation be assured. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen.